Hi my dear children, good morning. In our last video, in our last class, we had made a discussion on the path to constitution, the drafting of the constitution for India, the constituent assembly, etc. Here in this class, we are going to learn more about the constitution of India. In which year our constitution came into effect? On 26th January 1950. What makes our constitution unique? What is, the, what is the peculiarity of our constitution while we compare it with the constitution of other countries? Why should we accept the constitution made by the constituted assembly more than 15 years ago? Have we ever thought so? Let us analyze. The constitution does not reflect the views of its members alone. It expresses a broad consensus of its time. Many countries of the world have had to rewrite their constitution afresh because the basic rules were not accepted to all major social groups or political parties. In some other countries, the constitution exists as a mere piece of paper. No one actually follows that piece of paper. But the experience of our constitution is different. Over the last half a century, several groups have questioned some provisions of the constitution. But no large social group or political party has ever questioned the legitimacy, the validity, the lawfulness of the constitution itself. That is an unusual achievement for any constitution. No other constitution in the world can claim the same. Let us analyze the second reason. The Constituent Assembly represented the people of India. There was no universal adult franchise at that time. That is true. If there was no universal adult franchise, who elected the members of the Constituent Assembly to draft the Constitution for India? They were elected by the members of the existing provincial legislatures. This ensured a fair geographical share of members from all the regions of the country. Of course, the Constituent Assembly was dominated by the Indian National Congress. But the Congress itself included a variety of political groups and opinions. The Assembly had many members who did not agree with the Congress. In social terms too, the Assembly represented members from different language groups, castes, classes, religions and occupations. From this point, we get an idea that the Constituent Assembly had its representation of people from different regions, from different uh, caste, classes, etc. Let us move to the third reason. The Constituent Assembly worked in a systematic, open and consensual manner. First, some basic principles were decided and agreed upon. Then, a drafting committee chaired by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar prepared a draft constitution for discussion. What is draft? Preliminary version of a legal document. The first version of a legal document. Several rounds of thorough discussion took place on the draft constitution clause by clause. What is clause? A distinct section of a legal document. A clear or notable or different section of a legal document. More than 2000 amendments, changes were considered. The members deliberated for 114 days spread over three years. Every document presented and every word spoken in the Constituent Assembly has been recorded and preserved. These are called Constituent Assembly Debates. When printed, these debates are 12 bulky volumes. The big volume reminds us 
the hard work made by the members of the constituent assembly to draft the constitution for india to make it a reality our constitution the constitution begins with a short statement of its basic values this is called the preamble to the constitution taking inspiration from american model most countries in the contemporary world have chosen to begin their constitution with a preamble the preamble of the constitution reads like a poem on democracy it contains the philosophy on which the entire constitution has been built sovereign people have supreme right to make a decision on internal as well as external matters now external power can dictate the government of india socialist wealth is generated socially and should be shared equally by society government should regulate the ownership of land and industry to reduce socio economic inequalities secular citizen have the complete freedom to follow any religion but there is no official religion government treats all religious beliefs and practices with equal respect democratic form of government where people enjoy equal political rights elects their rulers and hold them accountable the government is run according to some basic rules republic the head of the state is an elected person and not a hereditary position justice citizens cannot be discriminated on the grounds of caste religion and gender social inequalities have to be reduced government should work for the welfare of all especially of this of the disadvantaged groups liberty there are no unreasonable restrictions on the citizen in what they think how they wish to express their thoughts and the way they wish to follow up their thoughts in action equality all are equal before the law the traditional social inequalities have to be ended the government should ensure equal opportunity for all every document presented and every word spoken in the constituent assembly has been recorded and preserved these are called constituent assembly debates when pre- fraternity all of us should behave as if we are the members of the same family a constitution is not merely a statement of values and philosophy as we noted above a constitution is mainly about embodying these values into institutional arrangements much of the document called the constitution of india is about these arrangements it is a very long and detailed document therefore it needs to be amended quite regularly to keep it updated those who crafted indian constitution felt that it has to be in accordance with the people's aspiration and changes in society they did not see it the constitution as a sacred static and unalterable law so they made provisions to incorporate changes from time to time these changes are called constitutional amendments hi children did you understand this part try to find the answer to these two questions why should we accept the constitution made the assembly more than 50 years ago what do we mean by constituent assembly debates thank you